Good morning, good morning, Keisha Johnson here. Welcome to Waking Early for His Glory. You can find me here every Monday through Friday at 4.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much for catching the replay. If you can be so kind and type in hashtag replay so I will know that you are watching. And if you are tuning in for the very first time, please type a number one in the comments so we will know that you are watching. Good morning to those of you that are just jumping on live. Great morning, Peggy. Great morning. Great morning, Doretha, Fallon, Trista. Good morning. If you all can be so kind and go ahead and begin to share out the broadcast, that would be amazing. Good morning. Oh, someone tried to call me in Facebook Messenger this early in the morning. Great morning, everyone. Good morning, Teresa, Barita. Hey, to Haven. How are you? So good to see you, dear. So good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my gosh, Bo is, uh, yeah, Bo just woke up. Uh, yes, Bo the Beagle. Um, yeah, all right. Um, we're not going to get distracted. So good morning, everyone. Good morning, Faith. As you all are jumping on, please go ahead and begin to share out the broadcast. And after you have shared the broadcast, please come back and type in shared, hashtag shared, so we will know that you all have shared. Good morning, Evangelist Rosa. Good morning. Go ahead and share out the broadcast. I'll give you all just a moment to get on. Go ahead and grab your notebooks, grab your journals. The Haven, we are so glad you are with us this morning great morning we are so glad you are here oh oh my goodness Bo Bo the Beagle good morning everyone we'll try not to get distracted um, I may have to get up and have Anthony go get him uh, it's 1 30 in California Wow so glad you are with us this morning um, thank you for tuning in oh listen I have my uh, the, the the shirt today is very fitting. My flesh is not the boss of me. Um, it was a little, a little hard getting up this morning, but nevertheless, I got up. Go ahead and say, God did it again. God did it again. God did it again. It is a great day to be alive on this morning. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Jennifer. So good to see you. Yes, go ahead and type in, God, I appreciate you. If you have not yet, make sure that you have grabbed your anointing oil and go ahead and anoint your hands and go ahead and type in my hands are blessed great morning robin my hands are blessed everything that i touch is blessed everything that i touch prospers everything that i touch multiplies everything that i touch turns to gold these blessed hands will lay hands on the sick they will be healed and they will recover in jesus name amen amen yes god did it again god did it again good morning lady ruby Yes, I'm so thankful and so grateful that God has allowed us to see another day. So thankful, so grateful. Um, so go ahead and type that in. Go ahead and get this shared out. Um, as you're all are jumping on, also please share what time did you all go to bed last night? What time did you wake up this morning? I went to bed somewhere in a 10 o'clock hour um, and woke up at about 3.40 today. I did hit the snooze button two times today and had to remind my flesh that it is not the boss of me. My flesh is not the boss of me, so I got up. All right, um, I hope you all don't hear Bo in the background. As soon as I hit the live button, he decided he wanted to wake up and he probably needs to go out to outside, but um, we're live, so... Hopefully someone hears him and they will get up and take care of him. If not, I will have to figure it out. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's just take a moment to thank the Father on today. Um, I'm just so thankful and so grateful that he has allowed us to see another day. So let's just go ahead and take a moment um, to let him know that we appreciate him. Amen. So, Father, we honor you. Father, we bless you. Father, we love you. Father, we thank you for being God. Yes, amen, Jennifer. We thank you for being good in every way there is to be good. We thank you for being our healer. We thank you for being our protector. We thank you for being our provider. God, we thank you for everything. We thank you for protecting us through the night from things that we have no idea idea that you have protected us from amen and listen today if you are on this broadcast live or if you are catching the replay that means that you were on the wake up list and that is not a small thing so someone just type in the comments god i thank you god i thank you it is not a small thing you haven't been asleep robin oh i'm sorry hopefully you'll get a nap so it's not a small thing so go ahead 
Um, let's just thank the Father for a sound mind on today. God, we thank you for a sound mind. We thank you for not allowing the enemy to have its way with us. We thank you for waking us up in our right mind on today. Amen. So thankful and so grateful. All right. Our um, opening verse for today is coming from the book of John, chapter 10. If someone can type that in, verses um, 27 and 28. John, chapter 10, verses 27 and 28. And it says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. If someone can type that in the comments, John 10 verses 27 through 28. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Can somebody say amen? So our devotional today is coming from the Father's Heart Ministry, and the Father's Heart Ministry can be found here um, on Facebook, and they also um, send the prophetic, the daily prophetic words to my email, so you can subscribe to their email list as well. All right, so our word for today, the Father says today, look to the cross and live. That's a whole word right there. Look to the cross and live. As Moses lifted the serpent in the wilderness, so the Son of Man was lifted up that you might escape the stinging attacks of the enemy against you and come to new life. Death is not your portion. Disease, poverty, or lack is not your portion. My plan for you is fullness of joy, joy unspeakable, full of glory. My glory is a tangible resource surrounding you and filling you with goodness and my provision. Rest in that glory. Release yourself into all that the weightiness of my presence brings into your heart and your life. Wrap yourself up in the folds of I am that I am. When Jesus came, I stepped out of the invisible into the visible. He stepped out of the invisible into the visible to make a way for you out of sin and out of the falling condition. Hold the line. You are not falling when you are in me. Let me say that again. You are not falling when you are in me. I am the living door that opens to you as one of my sheep. Live out of your sheep nature. Reject the character of being a spiritual goat. Goats eat anything. Listen, I need you all to say this morning, I'm not a goat. I'm not a goat. Goats eat anything. That is not who you are. That is not who I desire you to be. Just be the sheep of my hand. Just be the sheep of my hand and I will lead you to green pastures. Sorry about all the noise. I thank God. Anthony got up and got bow. He was like, look, listen, I need to go out. Uh, Somebody... This is real life at 4.30 in the morning. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm so sorry. Live out your sheep nature. Reject the character of being a spiritual goat. Goats eat anything. You can't turn your back on a goat. That is not who you are. That is not who you are. Y'all are laughing. (laughs) That is not who I desire you to be. Just be the sheep of my hand and I will lead you to green pastures and still waters. Even if all who are around you know nothing but disturbance and disappointment. For I am your shepherd. Can somebody say amen? Listen, y'all. Bo is the boss of this house. He runs this house. My goodness, he runs this house. (laughs) I mean, I'm like in my mind praying like, Lord, somebody please wake up and get Bo because I don't want to have to interrupt this live. I need you all to type in the comments. I am not a goat. I am not a goat. Go ahead and type that in the comments. I am not a goat. Goats eat anything. We are not goats. Amen. We are not goats. We are not goats. All right. So our word on today, we're going to talk a little bit about I just need you all to say that sickness and disease is not my portion. Sickness and disease is not my portion. Sickness and disease is not my portion. It is God's will for each and every one of us to be well. 
I need you all to know that today it is his will for each and every one of us to be well. It is his will for each and every one of us to be well. Good morning, Yvette Hollins. Good morning to those of you that are just tuning in. If you can be so kind and share the broadcast and come back and type in hashtag shared. Um, it is um, sickness and disease is not my portion. Somebody go ahead and type that in the comments. Sickness and disease is not my portion. And so um, the verse we're going to go to is John 11, 4. John 11, 4. If someone can type that in the comments for me. And it says, when he heard this, Jesus said, this sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory so that God's son may be glorified through it. I need to read that again. John eleven four says, when he heard this, Jesus said, this sickness will not end in death. I need you all to hear that this morning. Your sickness will not end in death. It doesn't matter what the doctor said. Your sickness will not end in death. I need you all to ask, Whose report will you believe? I need you all to say, I will believe the report of the Lord. Yours, this sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory so that God's son may be glorified through it. And someone needed to hear that on today. Someone needed to hear that on today. And I say this often and I'm going to keep on saying it. The enemy, as long as we are living and breathing, the enemy will always try to attack us in one of two areas. And what is that? In our body, through sickness and disease, or in the area of our mind. He will always try to attack us in one of two areas. In our bodies, through sickness and disease, or in our mind. And for me, it is always a full-on attack in my mind. Um, and so I know what I know what I know. And I have to catch that right away. Hold on, and devil, I see you. And you know, a lot of times we want to say everything ain't always the devil. And while in some cases it's true, but in most cases it really is. And so we need to know that because we don't, we, you know, we, we don't want to, you know, we don't want to get to a place where we think, you know, oh, uh, I'm all, we always want to say everything is the enemy. So, um, we, we try not to let that be our first response. And that is exactly what he wants. And to be honest, I even found myself saying that for a little while. Um, like everything is not always the devil, right? Everything is not always the devil. And while that may be true, but we need to make sure, you know, that we are aware that in most cases it really is. And we don't want to get to a place where uh, we don't believe that it is because that's what he wants. Does that make sense? That's what he wants. He wants us to think that is not him. And so for me, um, you know, a lot of times I'm, I'm not going to just as a long rabbit trail, but I know um, for me. Um, it's in the area of my mind. So again, let me say this again. He will always try to attack us in one or two areas in our bodies through sickness and disease or in the area of our mind. And it's just, it's just what he does. It's just what he does. But I need you all to know that sickness and disease is not your portion. Healing is your portion. And God wants you to be well. God wants you to be well. God wants you to be well. I need you all to stay. And I know this is not proper English, but I need you all to say I'm woke. All right. And so the enemy wants us to be asleep. He wants us to think that he's not busy. While it's true, you know, he doesn't have a whole lot of power. You know, he only has the power that God allows, only has the power that God gives him. But we need to be aware of his schemes. We need to be aware of his schemes. We need to be aware of his schemes. We don't want to catch ourselves saying, well, we always say everything is the enemy. Maybe it's not him. No, in most cases, it really is. In most cases, it really is. All right, so let me read um, a little rabbit trail. Um, let me move this cup, my hot lemon water. And by the time I drink it, it's never hot lemon water. It's always lemon water, but not hot lemon water. Um, Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. Someone um, type this in the comments for me. Isaiah 53, um, 4 through 5. Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. That's why I say I'm woke. Say I'm woke. Uh, I know that's not proper English, but that's just how we're going to say it today. I'm woke. <laughs> I'm woke. Say I am aware of the enemy's schemes. I'm woke. So Isaiah 53, 45. No, Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. I think I've been saying Isaiah uh, 53, 45. Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. 
but he took our suffering on him and felt our pain for us. We saw his suffering and thought God was punishing him. But when he was wounded for the wrong, we did. He was crushed for the evil, we did. The punishment which made us well was given to him and we are healed because of his wounds. Can somebody type in, thank you, Jesus. We are healed because of his wounds. We are healed because of his wounds. And I was about to keep going. If you want, you can read all of Isaiah 53. But our verses for today are 53 verses 4 and 5. Isaiah 53 verses 4 and 5. Um, two of my favorite verses. All right. So when Jesus went to the cross, he didn't just deal with sin. He didn't just deal with sin. He became sin. He became sin for us. He became sin for us. He became our sickness and disease for us. And because of his wounds, we are healed. And because of his wounds, we are healed. And I don't know about you, but I'm so thankful and so grateful. And I believe that as we are on this broadcast live, as you all are listening, that God is healing, that Jesus is healing. He is healing. Um, he's healing many in the body, I believe. Um, he's, believe uh, he's healing many in the mind, I believe. Um, he is healing broken hearts, I believe. And all you have to do is say, I believe and I receive. I believe and I receive. I believe and I receive. Sickness and disease is not your portion. Again, in John 11, 4, it says, when he heard this, Jesus said, this sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory. So that's God's son may be glorified through it. Somebody say hallelujah. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Ramona, you are healed because of his wounds. You are healed because of his wounds. It doesn't matter what the report of the doctor says. We believe the report of the Lord. So let me just, let's just take a moment and say, I believe and I receive and just receive it. And just receive it. Another one of my favorites. Third John two, third John two, and um, uh, this is the verse for waking early for his glory, not waking early for his glory, walking for his glory. Um, third John two it says, dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health. Somebody that's right by his stripes, amen. Somebody type in hashtag good health. Uh, dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well, even as your soul is getting along well. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health. I need you all to say it because of Jesus, I will enjoy good health and that all may go, may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along. And with this, I always feel like I have to stop and say this, you know. We must do our part. We must do our part and God will do his. There is a part that we have to pay, uh, not pay. There is a part that we have to play in our healing. There's a part that we have to play. We can't do, continue to do the same things. For example, for example, if someone is sick in their body and they're dealing with things like diabetes, high blood pressure, you cannot continue to do the same things that you've done to get you in that situation. You know, for me, I know, I believe, you know, even in, if we are sick in our mind, you know, we can't continue to do the same things that we always do, that God is there in the first place. Like, I have to be really mindful. I have to be really careful of, you know, what I feed myself. You know, what I have to be really mindful, really careful of what enters my eye gates and my ear gates, if this is making sense to anybody, um, because I know what my triggers are. I, I know, I know, I know what they are. And so I can't hang around the same people and listen to the same things and do the same things and so without saying too much you know without going down this long rabbit trail because I don't want to feel like I'm preaching you know the, the, the preaching and singing the same song but we have to do our part we have to do our part we must do our part we can't continue doing the same things just saying oh God's gonna heal me you know yes he can he very well can and yes he can and he will not he can but he can and he will but we have to do our part that's right, Tabitha. It always takes obedience. We have to do our part. All right. There is a part that we play. 
all right? If you are born again, God says he wants you above all things to be in health, not in sickness. How do we know? Because Third John 2 says that we have to be, it, um, he wants us to be in good health, not in sickness. Um, and, you know, a lot of times, you know, people will get sick and deal with health challenges and believe that God made them sick or that God is punishing them for whatever reason. I just want to say on today that that, oh, a braid was on my arm. I thought something was crawling on me. I'm so sorry, y'all. It's about to jump out of this chair. God does not give sickness. God does not give sickness. God does not give sickness. That That's right, Teresa, I will do my part. If that's you and you get it and you understand, go ahead and type that in the comments and say, I will do my part. Somebody type that in for me. I will do my part. I will do my part. I will do my part. All right, so God doesn't give sickness. You know, there's nothing in our lives that happened that God doesn't allow. You know, if it happened, it's because God allowed it for whatever reason. And so in those situations, we always ask, you know, who is it, God? Who is it you're trying to be to me in this situation? And what is it that I'm supposed to learn from this situation? You know, because I believe that, you know, anytime anything, you know, God allows something, um, it's at least for me in my own life, I've often seen that it's because he wants to show himself really strong in my life. So I always ask, who is it? Who do you want to be to me? You know, um, there are so many, you know, I know you all can say there are things in your life that happen where you know that you know that God is a healer. You didn't have to read it in the word. You know, no one told you. The pastor didn't tell you. Your friend didn't tell you. It's not something you heard. You know that you know that you know that God is a healer. You know, there have been situations in your life where you could say, you know what? I know that I know that I know that God is a deliverer. I know that I can. Or I know that I know that I know that God is a provider. You know, anything that happens in our life is because God has allowed it. So again, we always ask, we need to always ask, who is it that you're trying to be to me in this situation? And what what is it you want me to learn from this situation instead of trying to pray everything away because it's uncomfortable all right um so there is healing for you if you are dealing with sickness in your body there is healing for you if you are dealing with sickness in your mind there is healing for you you know there is healing for you and your emotions there is healing for you there is healing for you i need y'all to say i believe it and i receive it um, Exodus 15 26 says if you listen carefully and listen pay attention to the if you if you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes if you somebody type in if you in the comments if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians for I am the Lord who heals you and let me tell you um, I told you all I think it's been two weeks now um, and I don't even like using the word struggle I don't know whatever another word is for struggle let's just say that you know in a certain area and again I know for me that the enemy there's he all there's always like a full-on attack in my mind especially you know when God has given me something to do and I say yes the enemy comes in like a flood and he attacks me in the area of my mind that's just what he does and you know it, it is what it is and I recognize it and so I remember just sitting in my car I was just really upset just really like crying my eyeballs out like why why and you know I was in that moment why does this keep happening you know and so I had to stop and just like I said to you all you know this is happening this situation this thing happened because you allowed it who is it that you're trying to be to me in this situation you know and 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 um what is it you want me to learn from this situation and I remembered I sat there and I opened up my bible and as soon as I opened it up it went right here to this verse Exodus 15 26 and all I saw I am the Lord who heals you you know I am the Lord who heals you and it just blessed my soul anyway little rabbit trail but God is so amazing all right so I need you all to say I have work to do I have work to do I will do my part I have work to do okay challenge thank you I was like struggling I'm not struggling <laughs> and I couldn't think I'm like what's another word for struggle because that's not it's not a struggle yes I'm being challenged thank you Trista all right so he is Jehovah Rapha he is Jehovah Rapha the God who heals 
He is Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. He is Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. He is Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. He is the God who heals. Hashtag ask me how I know. All right, that's right. Say I have work to do. I have work to do. Y'all see my eyes so puffy. I was so tired this morning. But I got up. But I got up. Why? Because my flesh is not the boss of me. <laughs> Amen. All right. Mark 534. Mark 534 says, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. Let me read that again. Mark 534 says, daughter, <laughs> your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Let me read that one more time. Or some say in the South, one more again. <laughs> Let me read that one more again. One more time. It says, uh, Mark 534, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. Some of you need to get your faith up for your healing. Was it just yesterday that we said we were calling our faith up? Some of you need to just get your faith up for your healing. Get your faith up for your healing. I need you all to say again today, I'm calling my faith up. I'm calling my faith up on today for my healing. I'm calling my faith up. So what this is simply saying is you just need to get your faith up. The healing is there. You just need to get your faith up. Get your faith up for your healing. He said your faith has made you well. It is your faith. Your faith Faith has made you well. Let me read that one more time. Mark 5, 34 says, daughter, this is for somebody. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. He wants to heal his people. It is a promise. He wants to do it. That's right. Type in, I'm calling my faith up. I'm calling my faith up on today. That's right. Tish is calling her faith up. Listen, somebody type in Keisha. Keisha's calling her faith up. God wants to heal his people. He wants to. He's ready and waiting to heal his people. So let's see. Revelations 21, 24. Revelations 21, 24. Um, it says, he... Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold the line. Revelations 21, 4. I promise y'all, I was like, I can't even read that. I'm so sorry. Hold on. <sighs> Revelation 21, 4. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death, sadness, crying, or pain because all the old ways are gone. Let me read that again. Revelation 21, verse 4. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death, sadness crying or pain because old ways are gone because all old ways are gone and that's another verse i need you all to meditate on i apologize because i wrote that i must i i couldn't i couldn't read what i wrote what i what i wrote doesn't look like that So those are verses for you to meditate on. Revelations 21, 4. Someone type that in the comments. Um, I always say if we are sick in any area, um, just like when we go to the doctor, you know, if you are sick in your body, the doctor has given you medication. And he said, he may have said, or she may have said, take this medication three times a day, you know, with a meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The word of God, this is our medicine right here. The word of God is our medicine, all right? So I'm going to reread these scripture verses, references for scripture verses for you all. Um, and if you are dealing with sickness in your body, write them down on an index card and meditate on them three times a day, all right? So I'm going to read them off again. Revelation 21, 4. Revelation 21, 4. Mark 5, 34. Mark 5:34 Mark 5:34 Third John 2 Third John 2 Third John 2 Y'all got that? Somebody type that in the comments. 
3 John 2, please. 3 John 2, Exodus 15, 26. Exodus 15, 26. Exodus 15, 26. Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. And John 11, 4. John 11, 4. John 11, 4. Say the word of God. That's right. Um, Annie, the word of God is my medicine. The word of God is my medicine. And hold on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, y'all. I want to read one more. Hold on. Let me, um, let me, let me find it. Hold on. Huh. All right. So I'm going to read Luke 8, 43 through 48. Luke 8, 43 through 48. Someone type that in for me, please. Luke 8, verses 43 through 48. I was just going to leave that for you to read, but I'm going to go ahead and read it. Luke 8, verses 43 through 48. All right, so when in doubt, I need you all to read this here. Luke uh, 8, 43 through 48. So again, I need you all to know Jesus is a healer. Jesus is a healer. When in doubt, good morning, Monique. When in doubt, I want you to come here to Luke 8, verses 43 through 48. And it reads, a woman was in the crowd who had been bleeding for 12 years. 12 years. Somebody type in the number 12. Somebody type in a number 12, a lady who had been bleeding for 12 years, but no one was able to heal her. She came up behind Jesus and touched the edge of his coat and instantly her bleeding stopped. Then Jesus said, who touched me? When all the people said they had not touched him, Peter said, Master, the people are all around you and are pushing against you. Like, how do you expect us to know who touched you with all these people here, right? But Jesus said, someone did touch me because I felt power go out from me. When the woman saw that she could not hide, she came forward shaking and fell down before Jesus. While all the people listened, she, she told why she had touched him and how she had been healed instantly. Somebody say instantly. Jesus said to her, dear woman, you are well because you believed. Go in peace. Dear woman, you are well because you believed. Go in peace. I need you all to say today, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. You know, I believe that this passage right here is what's going to help to get your faith up for your healing. This right here is going to help get your faith up for your healing. So when you are in doubt, when you are in doubt, when the enemy tries to lie to you and tell you that you will not be healed, I need you all to say, you know what? The devil is a liar. Him and his whole entire family, him, his mama, his, his granddaddy, aunt, uncle, cousin, sister, brother, all of them, nothing but liars, right? I need you to open up your word again when you are sick in any area. The word of God is medicine. So all of these scripture references that I gave you all today, I want for you all to not just, you know, close your Bibles this morning, close your journals and walk away. Please, 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 you know, write them down, get some index cards or you can go to um, Bible Gateway, type in all the references. It'll uh, pull up all the scriptures for you. You can hit print and have it all printed out. You know, God's word, you know, God wants to heal. Jesus is a healer. When in doubt, come to Luke 8, read verses 43 through 48. All right. So that's it. Father, we honor you. Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your word, your holy word. We thank you for this word that leads us. We thank you for your word that guides us. And Father, we thank you for your word that protects us. We thank you for the reminder on today that you are a healer. And we are choosing to believe that you want us to be well. And we are saying, listen, I decree and declare that sickness and disease is not my portion. I don't have my pen. I decree and declare, someone type that in the comments for me, that sickness and disease is not my portion. I decree and declare that sickness and disease, <coughs> I'm sorry, is not my portion. I decree and declare that sickness and disease is not our portion. And so, Father, we thank you. We thank you that even now you are healing in the hearts and in the minds and in the body of your people. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. 
Okay, Trista, you completed your homework assignment and you asked, I asked you to find scriptures for belief and trust yesterday. Yes. And, all right, awesome. Do you want to share them here, Trista? Because someone may want to write them down and add them to their notes. You can share them in the comments if you feel comfortable. All right, so you all know what to do. Um, we're going to read our declarations. If you receive, type I receive. And then um, you all can begin to type in your takeaways. Um, what is uh, an aha moment, something that stood out to you, or something that you will do differently today because of what you heard. I decree and declare the perfect will of God over my life this day. And I just added, and I don't know why I didn't add this yesterday. I decree and declare that sickness and disease is not my portion. And I do not have a pen. I decree and declare that sickness and disease is not my portion. Yes, that's right. You all go ahead and type in, Lord, I thank you for healing. Lord, I thank you for healing. Lord, I thank you for healing. I thank you for healing. I decree and declare I live in perfect health in Jesus name. I decree and declare that I live in perfect health in Jesus name. I decree and declare that every disease and every virus, virus that touches my body dies instantly in the name of Jesus. We just read she was healed, the bleeding stopped instantly. All right? Instantly. So I so we can declare that, right? I decree and declare that every disease and every virus that touches my body dies instantly in the name of Jesus. All right, and I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there. So those are our decorations for today. Um, if you are new to the broadcast, welcome. And if you made it this far, thank you. Um, I just wanna share that many of us are also reading through the One Year Bible today, together. The publisher is Tyndale. Um, they come in many different colors. Um, the red one is the New Living Translation. Um, the light blue one is um, the ESV. The dark blue is the New King James. The green is the NIV um, translation, so you can get any of them and you will be on the same reading schedule. I also share each day's reading, um, the link in the caption, so you can read it or um, listen to it on audio online. Many of us are also reading through the God Chasers together. We are also reading through the God Chasers together. I'm on page 104. Um, because I kind of stay up later in the evening and I read this before everyone goes to bed. So, um, if you are still reading through the God Chasers with me, um, type a number two in the comments. Type a number two if you are still reading. And, um, I'm still getting messages from you all. All will there be a group? No. Um, uh, is there a reading schedule? No. Are we on the same page, same chapters? No. Um, when I give the books to share, it's simply a recommendation for you all to get the book simply because it's just a really good book. Um, and there's no way to get all of us. I just, I've done that before. I just don't want to do it again. It just doesn't work well with everyone trying to be on the same page, same schedule. Everyone's schedule is different. And I just didn't want the pressure <laughs> of trying to have everyone on the same page so we can all read at our own pace. Someone said, Keisha, I'm already done. Praise the Lord, you know, I'm already done. Some of you may have not may not have even started yet. You may not have even ordered the book yet. You can still go ahead and order it. Um, we are not on the same reading schedule. It's simply a recommendation, and I want for all of you to read this book. It's The God Chasers by Tommy Tenney. And as the Lord um, leads me to share book recommendations with us here um, at Waking Early for His Glory specifically, I will do that. So will there be a, a book of the month every single month? I have no idea. Someone's like, what's the book in March? I don't know. God hasn't given me one yet. And I'm not, I'm not just going to make stuff up. So I feel like, you know, things go a whole lot better when you allow God to lead. You know, you don't try to take control and make stuff up just because. So if he gives me a book, I'll share. If he doesn't give me a book, I won't share. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff here. Is this anything for us today? Um, if you have not yet, please make sure that you have printed off your February promises. Um, and someone type in 365promises.com for me, 365promises.com. And they are simply Bible promises, one for each day. And so you would just read it from day one through the current date, or you can just read the current date, however you want to do it. I like just reading from day one. 
um, to the current date because for me I feel like by the end of the month you have both the most of them memorized or at least the ones that really stood out to you and spoke to you so um, will we be printing these off every month I say yes you know so um, go ahead to 365promises.com and make sure um, that you've printed off your Bible promises so what does that mean today you would read from February 1 all the way through February 18th um, and then tomorrow you would read from February 1 all the way through February 19th and so on. Um, if uh, the reading these Bible promises, if you have printed yours off, put a number three in the comments for me. Put a number three in the comments if you have printed off your Bible promises. All right. And so we are on day 16 of the No Complaining Fast. I'm excited to say that I had no resets yesterday. Um, no resets yesterday. What does that mean? I went through the whole day without complaining or at least not that I was aware of. <laughs> so, and I was intentional. I was intentional. I caught myself every time I tried to complain. And when I say complain, I'm not talking about big things. It could be something as simple as me in a car like, oh, these people just don't know how to drive in Georgia. You know, like I'm learning to not do that. You know, just to not complain. All right. Um, so that's it. Go ahead and share y'all's takeaways from today. I think some of you already started typing it in. I'll go back and finish reading it, but, um, that's it. That's it for today. All right. Y'all listen, it was so hard to get up today. I feel like my eyes are still uh, a little puffy. I lay there when my alarm went off. I said, my God, I'm going to need you to help me get out of bed today. Mm -hmm. Then I said, you know what? My flesh is not the boss of me. Get up. And I got up. I was looking for my highlighter. It was hiding behind my notebook. All right, so I feel sleepy now, but I'm about to take my vitamins, my Nutriburst, and I need my energy. Y'all ask um, questions like, why do you take them so early in the morning? Because I need my energy. How are you able to take your vitamins and not eat? The only vitamin I found that I can take on an empty stomach and not feel sick. Praise the Lord. And the problem I used to have um, with other vitamins and the tablets, I always had to eat a meal first. And I don't like eating this early in the morning. Um, or I used to have to make a smoothie. And if I did that, I had to make it the night before because I can't turn the blender on this early in the morning. And I just don't like to eat really um before hand and then work out so yeah just answering some of the questions i get in messenger <laughs> you lived in ackworth they can't they can't drive don't remind me jocelyn i don't even like to think about it <laughs> and that is where i found myself complaining the most when i'm in the car driving and i had to catch myself every time and name 10 things i'm thankful for i thank you god that I can drive. <laughs> I thank you, God, that I have a car that runs. You know, I thank you, God, that I have money to put gas in my car. I thank you, God, that I'm no longer walking. Or I remember the days of riding a bike, like having to just quickly throw out 10 things I'm thankful for. <laughs> Debbie says her takeaway is I will do my part. Amen. I will too. Oh, you love your new traverse? I'm so glad. Yeah, I like that I can take it without um, without a meal. And usually if I, I would take my vitamins or take without a meal and then would feel sick. Not a good feeling. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Marion, are you making sure? I, I know you notice I drink mine out of my cap. If you drink it out of your cap, it's only half a cap full. Half a cap is one tablespoon. Some of the ladies say, I took a whole cap. And I'm like, no, that's two tablespoons. It won't hurt anything, but it won't last 30 days if you do that. Because honestly, I, I, drink, I, I take mine like twice a day in the morning. And then again in the afternoon, because usually in the afternoon, I'm like, I need some more energy, especially when you wake up at 3.15. <laughs> yes, Mackie, today is a great day to be alive. I'm just hanging out to see um, if y'all are done sharing your takeaways. Yes, Debbie, yours is going to be on the way. 
Um, I ran out of the uh, supply I had at home, so I had to order yours directly from the website, Debbie. And um, it, it's and you'll receive a, um, an email with your tracking number. It'll be shipped today, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. um, Beth says, my takeaway is sickness and disease are not my portion. Amen. You drink, you drink it out of the cap, too? I think everyone does. No one has time to go look for a tablespoon, right? And then that's messy. <laughs> My kids drink theirs out of the tablespoon. And that's a good thing. You know, the kids can take it. You know, everybody can take it. Yes, it is easier to digest, Robin. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. It is easier to digest. Mm-hmm. It really is. All right. It looks like you all are done. I'm scrolling back through to see what I missed. It looks like y'all are done. Debbie says, you already got the email. See, they are so fast. I love them. They ship so fast. They ship so fast. All right. Looks like we're done. So remember, drink your water today. Go for a walk today. If you're not already walking, some of you um, get your steps in during the live. I love it. Um, listen, some of you all send me video clips, like when I hit the end button, when I'm done with the live, I get video clips from you all showing I was walking while I was watching you. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Like, I was walking for his glory while I was watching you. It just makes me smile. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Robin says, takeaway is keep your faith up. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sickness and disease is not my portion. Amen. All right, you all, what time is it? I have to go so I can change. I think it's three of us that are working out this morning. Praise the Lord. Because today is not the day for me to be working out by myself. Not today. The Haven says, I will not allow the pain to hinder my walking. Amen. Amen. Just do the best you can. Hey, Darice, I didn't see you jump on. I didn't say hi to you. I just saw your face in the hearts. Hey, Darice. I saw all your cute pictures from the other day. All right. Hey, Tish, how are you? We are just wrapping it up. You came on just in time. I was about to hit the end button. All right, y'all, I have to go. Uh, Letitia says I hadn't walked in two weeks with everything going on. That's okay. You had a lot going on. You had a lot going on. That's understandable. Oh, thank you, Trista. And Trista, I didn't see if you shared the verses in the comments. If you, if you, listen, Trista, if you, sh after I end the live, go ahead and share them then. That way it's at the end of the comments and everyone can see the verses. Uh, good. All right, y'all. Look, you, you listen, y'all can tell when I'm stalling, right? Because I know I have to get ready to go and change for my workout. So I'm completely, I'm totally stalling right now. <laughs> I'm stalling. Y'all say, get off this live and stop stalling. I'm I'm so stalling, y'all. <laughs> it's not easy um, doing it this early in the morning, but, you know, for me, it works. You just get it done. Um, thank you, Trista. I'm stalling. I need to get off this live. <laughs> I'm so stalling right now. <laughs> You have to hit the, you have to, how's your mom, Mackie? How's mom doing? How's she doing? Uh, you get it done and fast. Oh, Debbie, now you know I don't move that fast. That's the uh, the feature on my phone. It's called time lapse. I, I record the videos and <laughs> I record the videos in time lapse. And whenever I do that, people message me. <laughs> I was trying to work out to your video, but you were moving too fast. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. It, number one, it wasn't a whole video. It was just a clip and it was in time lapse. I, I couldn't keep up. You were moving too fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. It does. And not only that, not that we get it done, but when you work out first thing in the morning, I don't know if you notice, you're really aware and, and, and you pay attention to your choices throughout the day, you know, because you don't want to mess your workout out, up, you know what I mean? So you watch, you know, what it is that you eat for breakfast. Y'all are laughing, for real. Somebody was like, I was hitting a pause. I had to keep pausing it because I couldn't keep up. I was like, oh no, sorry. Number one, you'll see it's just a clip. 
and it was recorded in time lapse. I can't even work out that fast. Mm, all right, I'm stalling. I really have to go for real now. Bye, y'all. I've been stalling. Bye. Mm -hmm.